What's up guys, how you guys doing today? So as you guys can tell, just basing off of my voice, I'm extremely tired right now. It is only 4 a.m. and we're about to go on a two hour car ride over to Newark Airport. And then once we get there, we're gonna be flying to Puerto Rico. So we got a traveling day today. I hate traveling days just because of how tired it makes me. It like throws my day off completely. But it's all good, we get to go to Puerto Rico and have some fun over there. And then I have a meetup this Saturday at an event called Vlogin. So that's the whole reason I'm gonna be going to Puerto Rico. And then right after that, we go to LA. But I am not a morning person. I hate being up this early. I just feel like passing out right now. I'm honestly probably gonna fall asleep again in the car ride to that airport. But Lizzie's over here getting finished packing up and everything. Alrighty guys, so my driver was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. I have zero contact details for the driver. Um, pfft. This is not going so well. I hope we don't end up being late, and I hope we actually make it in time to be able to get on our flight, because it doesn't look like, I, like I have no contact information for this guy. They assigned me a driver, but didn't give me any contact information for him, so I don't know how we're gonna get in contact. All right, so I just got a call from one of the people over at the event, and they said that my driver got a flat and they had to replace the driver. So I have a new driver coming. It should be here within like 15, 20 minutes, so that's good. Just got a call from the guy saying he should be here within the next two minutes, so we just came outside. It's pretty chilly out here, but I kind of like it. Feels good. Might as well start doing my exercises with my finger while we're waiting. You know what's amazing? What? You weren't able to do that. I know. It, like, the tendon was completely sliced. Couldn't even bend it. It's the weirdest feeling knowing you have something attached, but you can't move it. And you try everything in your willpower to try and move it, and you can't. It's so fucking weird. But thank God it's attached now. I almost didn't have a finger to use. All right, here we go. Our guy's here. The lights are blowing here, that's pretty cool. That sun is crazy looking. Oh, stretching. We just got here, guys. We're about to head in there now and um, try and go through the whole process of going through TSA and then try and get on our flight. Okay, so TSA is right here. We just checked our bags and everything. But there's a Dunkin' Donuts right up here. We figured we might as well get food really quick and then we'll go through TSA. Belgium waffle breakfast sandwich. That sounds pretty lit. I'm going to try that out. Lizzie got a bacon, egg, and cheese on the bagel. I got the same thing, but on a Belgian waffle. And it smells amazing, doesn't it? So I just wrapped up eating. I think it was all right, but here's the thing. I can't really tell how it tastes because my taste buds are still fucked up from that malic acid that we did the other day. You think the same thing, right? Yeah, like bacon, egg, and cheese is what I always get, and it's usually so good, and it just doesn't taste right at all. Yeah, like, it's weird. Like, I would tell you to taste it, but your taste buds are messed up too, to tell me. So like, <laughs> I tried the waffle, egg, and cheese with bacon on it, and I couldn't tell if it was good or not. Like, I, I could definitely smell it, but like, I just couldn't taste it, so it's weird. And it just feels like a weird texture in my mouth when you're chewing. So I'll have to try it again another time. But based off of what I could taste, it was it was like, all right. All right, so we just wrapped up eating. Now we're gonna go through TSA. You good? Boarding pass. Oh yeah, where's mine at? You just give it to me. I think it's in my pocket. There we go. You ready to fly, little girl? Little girl. Yeah. I'm not a little girl. <laughs> Got your little flowers in your ears. <laughs> now when you go through TSA guys, it's important that you take everything off, including your shirt, your pants, your underwear. <laughs> Might as well just get naked and start walking around the airport. <laughs> when we were going through TSA, they pulled me over to the side and like swiped my hand with this little like brown strip. It was weird. Yeah, and they put like this stuff on your hands. They did that for me too before. It's like you're randomly, randomly selected to have that stuff wiped on your hands, but I was scared because I went over your cut. Yeah, I know. I was scared that they were going to find like the illegal drugs that I was smuggling. Man, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't got shit. I just wanted to let you guys know really quick that Lizzie posted a brand new video today. It's an extreme twister challenge that she did with my sister Sabrina. So if you guys want to go check it out, the link is down below in the top of the description. It's pretty funny. We just realized we were sitting at the wrong gate for the past hour. Yeah, I was like, wow, there is nobody here. We boarded less than an hour. And then we looked at the sign and said Southwest, we're on Jet Blue. <laughs> we're over the other gate. Now. All right, so we went to the wrong gate before, and now they're making us change our gate, so we gotta walk over there. She loves playing with my hair. She doesn't even look at it, she just plays with it. <laughs> four hour flight, here we come. We just sat down, I'm probably gonna end up passing out for this next four hours. I know, so I wish you got a window seat, but this Yeah, is on the view. aisle. There's so much room in these seats. Lizzie's got her blanket and she had it. Look at these HD TVs. Mine looks a lot better than yours. I know. Look at mine shit. We're going 511 miles an hour. Attention 
passengers, this is your captain speaking. We have some very bad news. Unfortunately, there was a gas leak on board. Everybody remain calm. Huh? False alarm. Wait, what? <laughs> we just landed. There's a bunch of people clapping back there. I never been to San Juan, Puerto Rico with a local time. I did it on senior trip, like whenever we landed at one oh three. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like smoke coming out the top right there. We're heading over to the baggage claim right now. We're gonna try and get our bags, and then we have a driver that's supposed to be picking me up. I'm pretty sure he's here already. They got some slot machines here too. St. Vegas, baby. <laughs> Looks like they're all closed off though. That is so obnoxious. Holy hell. That scared the shit out of me. I know. I jumped. Here we are in Puerto Rico. We're getting in our car right now. Ooh, it is so hot here, right? So, uh, my hands humid. Feel yeah, We're stopping at Burger King real quick. They have like different things on their menu. Like that's a del tortilla, it's like a donut. We just got out of the car, we're gonna try and get something to eat right now and then we're probably gonna head to the hotel afterwards and get everything set up. Coming in the Burger King. Damn, that poster makes me want all those desserts. I don't know why the apple pie looks so good too. The fries are definitely different here. They're like McDonald's fries, they look like. The fries kinda taste like McDonald's. I can't even taste them, my taste buds are so messed up. I know, shame. I got some chicken strips, she got chicken tenders and a cheeseburger. So I got brisk iced tea and it tastes a lot different from back home. I can't tell, does it taste sweeter to you? It's really hard. The flavor is different. Yeah. So we just wrapped up eating, but we're both still hungry, so we got some desserts. I got a Oreo milkshake, she got a strawberry banana smoothie, and we both got cookies. I got macadamia nut cookies, I love those. We don't have this where I'm from either, hash fries, chili, and queso. So it's like loaded fries, pretty much. This strawberry banana smoothie is really good. It tastes better than like the Burger King from where, dude, like everything tastes different. I know. This cookie is massive. And then I got this little Oreo shake thing. We just wrapped up eating. It was pretty interesting because like a lot of stuff tastes different out here. I know. You'd figure it wouldn't, but it does. So we can't find our car right now. We're trying to look for it. He's hitting the uh, panic button, but we don't know where it is. Dude, is that the hot tub right there? That's crazy. That one all the way over there is, isn't it? I don't even know. No, that's a pool over there too. No idea. There we are, we got it now. I still have this red rash on me. This cast is like irritating my skin. So we just got over to the hotel. We're gonna go get our room right now. It's super nice in this hotel. We have the pool right out here. We're in the lobby area right now. We're about to go up to our room. But we also have access to the beach right from the hotel. We can just walk right out there to the beach. And it's honestly pretty gorgeous. Show them that view, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys when we get upstairs. I'll show them up the yeah. balcony, it's easier. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Yo, I gotta tell you something. Ew! That was so loud. Oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty nice in here. A full body mirror. <laughs> Damn, look at that view. That is awesome. Holy shit. <laughs> you gotta unlock it. Oh my god. Where's the step? Oh my god. Oh, that is nice. All right, so now it's time to get unpacked. I have to get my laptop out for sure because my vlog goes up in 10 minutes. Gotta make sure that goes up because sometimes the scheduled uploader fucks up and doesn't always work. You'll never believe what's in this room. Nothing. Another door. That you can't open. <laughs> yeah, but if you, if we got the like room next to us, like this room and the room next to us, we'd be able to go through. The Wi-Fi connection is so bad. I might just have to connect to my phone the entire time. <laughs> Look at this. Lizzie's actually putting the clothes away. I never do that. Whenever I go somewhere, I always just like feed out of my suitcase and just get all my stuff out of there I know, when I need then it. And that always makes the place a mess. And I'd rather have it clean for when the uh, cleaning people come in the morning. That way, our stuff's not all over the place. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I brought my GoPro purposely and I just forgot I didn't bring any mini SD card so I cannot get any footage off of here. I'm so dumb. But we wanted to go out to the beach right now so I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so today is gonna be the first day that I'm getting my finger wet within the past couple weeks. Probably two weeks now. And um, it's looking pretty good. 
I mean, there's still some blood remnants. I'm actually going to wipe that off right now before I go out into the beach area. They said I can get it wet. They advised me not to submerge it. So I can still go onto the beach and have fun and everything. I'll just try and keep my hand above water as much as I can. Uh, I like the way you're getting sand in the cut still. I mean, they're not open, but still, if you get it in the crease Yeah, it, it would suck. Um, but once again, yeah, I'm just going to try and keep it out as much as possible. But I'm going to rinse it underwater right now and try and get these blood stains off. It's pretty disgusting. Okay, I want to see how much blood, like, comes off. <laughs> like, it's not even phasing it. The blood is seriously, like, look. It's dried. It's dried on there. Ew. Oh my gosh, I literally have to scrape it off. Okay, well, don't scrape the cuts. You might just have to leave them. Oh, it feels so good. They're so good underwater again. Holy crap. This water is so hot and I don't even feel it on this finger. <laughs> Damn, it's not even doing anything to it. Whoa, there's still a stitch stuck, in, stuck inside of here. There is? Yeah, look. You see it? The blue? Look at that, guys. The stitch is still in there and it's kind of like... Do not pull it. Lance, no. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. It's fine, look, it's coming. I don't want you opening your cut, Lance. It's not going to open up. I just need to get the stitch out. There we go, look. Oh my gosh, ew. Why'd you throw it on the floor? Oh no, it's, it'll disappear. <laughs> <laughs> it'll blend in. Yeah. But then, that's fucking nasty. I knew I was forgetting something. I completely forgot flip flops. So I'm just gonna walk out there barefoot because I don't got shitty shoes anyway. I didn't bring them either. <laughs> oh well. And we didn't bring any bags, so this is our beach bag right now. <laughs> all my bags are in LA. <laughs> There's a little passageway that leads right out here. Oh my gosh, that weather is gorgeous. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Look at this pool. It's like one of those pools. Um, what are they called? Like, are you, where they just float? Yeah. No, I forget what the name of the pool is. I I knew it before, but it's like the end. It kind of looks like the pool is um never ending. Let's see how warm it is. Ooh, it's like bath water. Yeah, it's nice. I guess there's another pool as well. It feels the same. Lizzie wants to lay on one of the hammocks. Look, there's like a little Starbucks coffee thing here too. You guys know that whenever I'm around sand, I somehow manage to get it in the lens of my camera and I fucking destroy my lens every single time. I gotta be super careful and make sure I don't destroy this camera. How is it? It's beautiful. Do you feel that wind? It's such like a nice breeze. It's a beautiful breeze. I love it! <laughs> There's like this little pier. Wow, that water's gorgeous. Bro, everything about this place is so nice. I guess these are like some of the fishes that are in this ocean. I'm gonna throw you in. Oh, Lizzie, go up there and grab a coconut. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go up there right now. Go ahead, climb up there. I need a really long glass. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. Look how cool that is. So it's a bar, but you're like halfway submerged into the water. The seats are underwater. Me and Lizzie, we're going to go into the beach, but I think we want to go into the pool right now. It's so warm. I think that might actually be a jacuzzi, too. Doesn't it look like it? Maybe. I might have to go over there and see. We just got out of the pool. It felt amazing. But look at this, guys. My hand is like all wrinkly now. It kind of made the blisters are a little wrinkly too. They're kind of like starting to fall off. There was a lot of blood coming off as well. Uh, I don't know. It'll heal. So I can usually do it with my right hand, but I don't know if I can do it right now with my left. But we're going to try and skip some rocks. Oh my gosh, this water is so warm. Holy crap, it's like as warm as the pool. It is. Ah, ah. <laughs> Rock. There's a bunch of rocks on the ground. Bro, I just like stepped on all of them. Is that a coconut? Yeah, I think so. It looked like a human's head at first. I was like, what the <laughs> hell? There's another one down there. Yeah. yeah, that's a coconut. They're huge. I saw this fact online. It told me like how many people die a year by getting hit in the head by a coconut. It's like crazy. Come on. You look up the weirdest things. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. There's two of them right here. Oh, Let's you did two. Bit. Two. This feels like quicksand. Oh, that was a good one. It's not, I can't skip it. Let me try. That is not gonna skip the rock. You gotta put some force into it. Yeah, that's gonna skip, all right. Oh, that was a good one. Three. Ah. Did I skip it? <gasps> <laughs> put yeah. the lime in the coconut and shake it all up. <laughs> that thing's actually pretty heavy. I know. It's, like, it's floating. It's like four, four or five pounds. Hey, there's an open coconut. We got all the sand all over us, so we just gotta rinse off really quick. Just came back upstairs. I think me and Lizzie are both gonna get a shower right now, and then we'll probably figure out what we're gonna be doing for dinner. Just in my hair, it looks so good. Definitely needed that haircut, so thank God I got it. 
all of these shirts and everything, like all the clothes and the suitcase are all wrinkled right now because the way Lizzie rolled them up to fit everything, she like literally rolled them up into like a ball and now she's ironing her shirt. Mine's a little bit wrinkled, but honestly, I could care less. She's over there ironing her shirt right now. These are shorts. Oh, shorts. <laughs> Same stuff. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah, you can you can wear it as a shirt. Yo, did you guys ever see that thing? I, I don't know. Somebody took like boy basketball shorts and made it into like a dress. Did you ever see that? I think so. It was so weird. They like layered it over their shoulder and like hang down. It was Oh, that's pretty funny. It's only 7 a.m. and it's completely dark out here. It actually looks brighter on camera than it actually does like to me. But damn, usually it doesn't get dark until like 9 back in New Jersey. Still beautiful out. We have a mini fridge in here and it honestly doesn't even seem that cold. But it's got like little icicles over here. But like I got my water out of here that we put in here earlier. And there was actually ice in here. Like, you guys can see the little icicles form on the bottle. I didn't even think it was going to be that cold because you stick your hand in here and it's, like, kind of warm. We just came downstairs into the lobby. I think we're going to try and find something to eat. It looks like this is, like, an Italian restaurant. So maybe we'll go here. I'm looking at the sign right now. Yeah, they got some, like, Italian stuff here. I think I'm just going to end up getting spaghetti bolognese. Like, that. they got a candle lit up and a flower. So <laughs> <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Love the small flowers. <sighs> Ooh, this looks good. I'm about to get some cheese right now. Would you get raviolis? Hummus and cheese? Yeah. I do a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, usually I do too. More? Yeah. Enjoy. Thank Can you. So I've gone through like five of these little glasses of water already. Lizzie hasn't even gone through like one yet. And I asked him to bring me more water. And he just brings me this entire big cup. Isn't that funny? <laughs> like I asked for There's a bigger a cup. I know. I asked for a bigger cup and he brings me this thing. <laughs> wow. Lizzie finished her meal for once. There was, you like, go. The perfect portion. Yeah. Whew. I just ate pretty much all of the pasta. There's a lot of meat left because there was a ton to begin with. But I am full. That was a good meal. Do you like it? It's like perfect that size. flower was covering my face. There you go. <laughs> this guy on the cart right here, he got on the cart and was like going down a ramp on it. It was so funny. He was going quick as shit. I wanted to record it, but I didn't want him to feel like awkward because I was recording him. Yeah. We just came outside. These balls are lit up now. And oh, look at the pool. Man, it looks so beautiful out here. It feels beautiful. Like yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a cat right here. Is that just like a random cat? Where's he going? <laughs> We're not seeing things, right? Oh, come here, Where is, he? Where is he going? Those clouds look crazy. I so wish that I had my drone right now. I'd be getting so many cool drone shots. Oh, Lizzie is so happy right now because she just got verified on Instagram. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's getting verified. My sister's getting verified like her whole family is. Because the company that I have a partnership for my YouTube channel has an Instagram connect and they're helping us out. So that's really cool. I'm low-key mad right now because she only has like 100k on Instagram. <laughs> and it took me until I hit 2 million followers on Instagram to get verified. You're so lucky. You got it like it was nothing. Oh my god, guys. So I just got a text from my cousin, and he said, send me some sick pics when you're out in Puerto Rico. And when I first glanced at it, I thought it said dick pics. So I was so confused. I was like, why the fuck is my cousin sending me this? I, it was so funny, but then I had to reread it. I just got done editing my vlog. I rewatched it, and I feel like my entire vlog today was very, like... It just wasn't me being myself. I don't know if you guys feel the same way when you were watching it, but I just feel like I was super monotone. I guess because it was a travel day, I didn't really have that much exciting stuff going on. I wasn't really upbeat and talking a lot. I was super tired. I barely got enough sleep. So especially in the beginning of the vlog, I was just like, hey guys, what's going on? I don't know. I guess it was just an off day for me. But hopefully tomorrow isn't like that. I'm sure it won't be. I don't know. Days like these where I'm traveling the majority of the day just kill me. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, guys. So me and Lizzie have an entire bag of malic acid right here. We're going to be trying this out. We're going to do this challenge. You're supposed to take a tablespoon and eat a tablespoon of this stuff. 